Thanks, Annie. Today I'm here with the winner of Big Brother 10 and runner-up of last, season, last summer's edition of Big Brother, Dan Giesling. Thanks for joining us, Thanks Dan. so much for having me. So Canada's finally, after about 10 years, getting their first Big Brother. What do you think about that? I'm super excited for you guys because I know the Big Brother version of the show has a huge Canadian fan base and you guys have been begging and demanding for your own season and now you get it. And from what I've seen, it's going to be a phenomenal season and I'm really excited for you guys. So what do you think that the Canadian version of Big Brother has to do in order to get as many viewers as the Americans? That's a great question. I think they started right off the bat. They, they emulated a lot of things and even improved some things. They, they brought in the casting director from, from the U.S. version, Robin Cass. They built a phenomenal set. You know, it's, everything's high def and, and just upgraded. The third thing they did is they, they copied the format. So it's an actual competition as opposed to some other Big Brothers. They're more kind of like a social experiment where the audience votes people out. So they have a lot of things going for them. Plus, I mean, just the amount of excitement that's, that's involved with the show right now. It's, I'm really excited to see how it turns out. And today you came with a food truck with slop. <laughs> yes. And I actually got a chance to try it. So we're going to take a look at that right now. <laughs> Yes, okay, so we have three different mixes that we have. We have maple syrup, chocolate chip, or hot sauce. I'll have maple syrup. Maple syrup? Tremble for yourself, my man. You know that you have seen this all before. Okay, I'm here outside the slot truck, and I'm going to try it for the first time. Here it goes. Not as bad as I thought. It's pretty good. I have maple syrup in mine, so it adds a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, so I tried it, and it actually wasn't as bad as I expected. But if you're in there and you're on slop for seven days, it must not be good. What, how yeah, does it's, it's not very fun. Um, but at the end of the day, when you're eating that, if eating that is going to help you get to $100,000 or whatever the prize is, you're going to do it. How would you describe slop to me in one word? What, what would you oh compare it to? For everyone who's watching this that didn't get a chance to eat it. It was oatmeal. It was like oatmeal. oatmeal. Okay. But That's fair. a little bland. Bland um, oatmeal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Can you explain how you have to eat slop? Like what, what yeah, it's, so if you're unfamiliar with the show Big Brother, basically there's certain penalties that go out. And if you lose a competition, one of your penalties could be the only thing you can eat for the, for the week is the, the slop that you tried. And over time, you know, it, it nourishes your body. There's vitamins and things in it. But what it really does is it, it mentally breaks you down. And so from the producer's standpoint, when, when you have contestants on slop, it kind of gets you to the end result of people kind of colliding and fighting because when people aren't slapped, they mentally break down and that's when they do a lot of crazy things. Can you tell an example of one of the, Oh man, happened? you know, I've seen people fight, you know, someone just got off slop and, and there was supposed to be chicken cooked for them ready to go because, you know, in the show, when you're off slop, it like ends at midnight. So on midnight, you have a, a huge feast ready to go. Well, someone had eaten someone's piece of chicken and that turned into World War III in the house over a piece of chicken. I mean, it just, it drives people insane. So you've won Big Brother, mm -hmm. and you've came in second. Yes. What advice do you have for the house guests that are entering Big Brother Canada? Yeah, you know, like I said, I'm very excited for the Canadian house guests, but the one thing I hope they all remember is that it's a game. You know, some people are going to be in there and get very, very emotional, and that's part of the game, but those who are focused on the fact of winning the prize at the end and really doing whatever it takes, no matter what the situation calls for, that's what I love seeing in gameplay is that people who just go to the limits and if they have to stab some people in the back, then that's what they have to do. But I just really hope that they play the game as hard as the Canadian fans deserve because they've been waiting 10 years for this. Yeah, you talked about stabbing people in the back. And last season, probably one of the, my favorite moments in the game was when you had your own funeral and everybody thought you were going to go home. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with that? Yeah, well, I think the slop played a role in that. Is uh, I was trapped in a room for 24 hours and, and there's no light. You know, you're just stuck in this room. And, and when you're fighting for a half million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars, your mind's going to do a lot of crazy things, and, and at least mine does when I'm trying to come up with a scheme to get out of it. And so really just being isolated from the group and really just having a passion and love for the game, I wasn't ready to go home, and I was willing to do whatever it took, even if it meant hosting my own funeral. Do you think that that scheme of some sort led to you not winning the game at the uh, end? I think, you know, I can sit at home at the end of the day and look back on that season, whether it's today or 10 years from now, and know that I did everything I possibly could to win so I don't play the Big Brother What If game. Because some of the Big Brother Canada house guests that walk out when they get evicted, they're going to say, well, I should have done this, this, or that. I don't have any of that in my mind because I played so hard and, and I made the decisions I, I felt I needed to. 
And who do you think is the best Big Brother player? Um, the best Big Brother player, I tell you what, after playing with Janelle, I have a, a, such a great respect for her because people forget that she made it to the final three two times, and it's very, very difficult to get to the end of the game, and especially because she, she's so dominant. You know, in this last season, she just had a kid, and yet she was kicking my butt in competitions and really dominating. So she's a really great player. Thanks so much for joining us, Dan. Thanks so much for having me. Can I insert two things real quick? Number one, go Rams. And number two, you did a great job of this interview. You should be very proud of yourself. And Ryerson's lucky to have you. Thank you. <laughs> and you can catch the premiere of Big Brother Canada tonight at 9 p.m. on Slice. Back to you, Annie.